Hi, everybody. This is Brian with Abracadoodle of Central Connecticut introducing this week's Splat Doodle Challenge. Uh, Splat Doodle is something we started at the beginning of this quarantine where we encourage people to do art at home with whatever materials they might have sitting around the house. Uh, we chose different artists to feature and uh, this week is no different. We have a really great artist. We also have a great special guest who wanted to talk to you all and, uh, and to show you that art is fun. So, uh, but without further ado, I wanna introduce this week's, this week's artist. His name is Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, of course, Leonardo da Vinci wasn't just an artist. He did everything. He was an engineer, he was a mathematician, scientist, inventor painter, sculptor, architect, botanist, you name it, he's done it. He, he wrote, he, was, uh, he played music. He really was a genius. And I just want you to take note of when he lived. He was around in the mid, he was born in the mid 1400s, died in 1519. And um, you know, what he was able to think about is just remarkable. Just think about this painting, the Mona Lisa, which is inarguably his most famous work of art. And you look at this and what everybody hundreds of years later looks at, they see the curiosity and the intelligence and wondering what she's thinking about in her eyes and her smile. Um, so Leonardo da Vinci was no different. It's why he was able to master so many things as a genius of his time. And this is something right off of his website, da Vinci, uh, Leonardo da Vinci.org, is available for anybody to go see his works. And included on that were his notes and etchings about the flight of birds. And he was really curious about whether in 1452, mind you, he was born in 1452, but in the 1400s and 1500s, about humans flying. Um, so he conceptualized that thought whether it be hang gliding or parachuting, and he helped to design a parachute. Uh, so he really was a revolutionary thinker, not just in art, but in science. And, um, and this here is from the Air and Space Museum where they have a write-up about da Vinci and about how he was able to think about human mechanical flight um, as, early as, as, um, uh, as early as 1505 when he was thinking about the flight of birds. So I just think this is fascinating. And um, as usual, um, I had somebody that I wanted to introduce you all to. Uh, and I think it's really interesting that, that we're choosing somebody who's not an artist this week. We've had artists and not artists uh, in a time when we're featuring somebody who wasn't just an artist. So. I want to welcome um, state rep from the town of Cromwell, Christy Carpino. Hi, Christy. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Brian? Thank you so much for doing this. I'm doing very well. Thank you. And thank you for taking time out to play with us today. Oh, I'm excited to be here. I definitely fit your definition of not an artist, so I'm looking <laughs> forward to playing today. <laughs> we want people who are both in and out of art to feel welcome to do art and to not feel the pressure of art. And a little secret, um, Christy and I, uh, Christy and I went to high school together. Uh, that's true. It we is went true. to high Yes. <laughs> Once upon a time. No, no, no. It was just it, it. It was it was just a few years ago, Christy. Yes, just a few days ago. Yeah, yeah. It was like five years ago. You and I were in high school together. Uh, yeah, and uh, neither of us were involved in art at all. No. <laughs> yes, my kids still make fun of me because I was vice president of the recycling club. Uh, so, you know, that was, uh, th that, that was what I was known for in high school. If that's all they're making fun of you for, you're doing much better than I am. <laughs> yeah, no, they are, um, they're making fun of me for plenty more than that, definitely. <laughs> but they definitely think it's hysterical that I was, that's what I chose to do in high school. Uh, and I remind them that back then that was actually like revolutionary and people didn't think about it. So, 
Uh, but anyway, so I just, um, I wanted you, I put you on the spot a little bit. You told me, you shared with me about how anxious art made you back when we knew each other in high school. I did. I remember out my ninth grade art classroom. I don't remember what we did. I remember where I sat. I remember the table and all I remember is how strict it was and the rules and how anxious that made me. So when you told me that I had the chance today to join you and that it was going to be a bit of fun and that there was some imagination, I said yes. So I, I think that's wonderful that you're taking this opportunity to show people that that non-artists can have fun with art and can explore a little bit. And that oh, yeah. there aren't necessarily a lot of rules. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think that that's been, that's been a challenge for, I think some people, you know, they've been taught somehow that art isn't, isn't right, or their art isn't right, or they feel judged, right? And um, that's the last thing anybody should feel. And to the best of anybody's ability, they should feel at home and comfortable and uh, in their own skin while they're creating something. You know, there's absolutely no reason for anybody to be, to be stressed out. Uh, so today, Christy, you're not gonna be stressed out. Nope, I, I remember there being lots of straight lines and I'm not necessarily a straight line and I'm, I'm here outside, it's a beautiful day. And yep, we're gonna have absolutely. And so we've been in quarantine for a long time, and I'm, I'm going to ask you, uh, you know, there's got some kids who are listening, and while we're now officially, we're having a partial reopening of the state uh, this week. Um, actually, is that today? It's today. It is today. Yes. So what's your message to kids who might be listening to your own kids, maybe, who, um, you know, while, while we start to loosen up, what is your message to everybody about what we've been through and maybe about where we're going? So be smart and be safe, but don't be scared. So use your good judgment, get some exercise, finish your studies at home because school is still not finished. <laughs> right. It's not, there's a few weeks left. Right smart about it now it, look at the weather you know we've been through the dark days of march and the snow and hail a few weeks ago yeah but as we've taken the proper precautions guys it's the perfect time get outside explore I, the medium right that's the art term i'm, I'm supposed to use today I've, you've taught me a little bit already <laughs> you, can, you can do art outside and you can take your studies outside and it's you can live safely outside so just be smart everybody but enjoy what we have but listen to your parents yep absolutely absolutely and i really like what you said about not being scared uh, you know i think it's really tempting to feel scared um, and i guess if you are scared that's okay we should talk about that uh, but we should take some comfort, find ways to take comfort. And, you know, to me, art is a great way to not be scared, you know, or to escape maybe for a little while. Uh, so we have, um, I, I, my daughter created a little um, parachute that came from Da Vinci's website. Uh, during our art class earlier, we did like a little paper airplane that we decorated? <laughs> no. Yes, yes, based on Da Vinci's flight, uh, which we only completed half of. Uh, so maybe I'll do another one of these. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna do another parachute, but you know, I'll uh, you know maybe mix it up a little bit. And you said you were gonna draw a parachute. I'm gonna attempt. <laughs> Um, there's no uh, pressure, Christy, and there's no wrong in art. So because we're using the things that we have at home, um, we have a bunch of sidewalk chalk. I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I believe it uh, doesn't make anybody seasick since I'm in my backyard here. I see no, you're my... doing great. So we've got our at-home chalkboard, um, our little easel. And I have a bunch of sidewalk chalk that, as you can see, is some of the pieces, some of our more popular pieces are pretty well loved. Yeah. <laughs> um, for making some of our uplifting 
early stay at home messages out on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, and pre stay at home orders, I actually had the chance to go um, paragliding. Um, awesome. It was a wonderful experience, a, a bit too short. So I, I got, I'm going to try to recreate that picture. I'm probably not going to come close, but I, I'm hoping that it'll be close enough that you get the general idea. Oh yeah, well Christy, you know what I always tell everybody is um, break it down to little shapes. So think about the shapes that are in your hang glider or in your parachute and and do those. So maybe there's like a, a semicircle uh, that we start with or something like that. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna spotlight you. So okay, no pressure. There we go. Everybody can see you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so start with that. Perfect. Although I will, I will admit we're having a little trouble seeing that. Oh, it's very light. It is very light. That's in case I goofed it up. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I got you now. Oh, yes. That was my fail-safe measure. <laughs> everybody, kids and adults at home to know it's okay if it's not perfect. That's Ever. right. That's right. And, right. and so fact, in fact, imperfection's sky, beautiful. The sky was so blue and I'll never be able to recreate how blue it was. It was beautiful. And I'm sure that's what Da Vinci wanted us all to know. Yeah. And I, oh, this is, I'm truly going to meet the definition of not an artist. <laughs> That's quite all right. That's quite all right. You're doing great. Might be back for remedial lessons. <laughs> no, you're doing just fine. No, not really. But <laughs> I'm I'm using some acrylic paints from our last lesson right now. Let's see. So that way, now this is mixed medium for me. Oh, you're doing great. Here, I'm going to move back to you. I, I took the spotlight off of you so you didn't feel pressure. Thank you. I'm, I'm painting my, my paper airplane. I'm being very basic here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, we don't, you know, and that's not the point of this. We don't want to necessarily make people feel like, you know, we're, we're all doing things that they can't do. This is all about what people can do. So I'm showing everybody a little bit of my, my mess here. And let's see, because there's only me doing this this time. I'm making a little bit more of a mess because I got one hand on my camera and one on my plane. <laughs> you have no idea the chalk dust I have over here, so no worries. Yep. Oh, yeah, that happens. Let's see. I'm going to add... This looks like a, a small child has done this, so I want everybody at home to know that I'm having, I am having fun. Although this looks, <laughs> you know what, mine too. Yeah. I'm it's making a, it might be a preschool class. Um, that's no, okay. Is, we have a lot of preschoolers who will be watching. Well, that I'm talking to them. Have great fun and don't worry. <laughs> the beauty of chalk on a chalkboard is you can erase. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely loving what you're doing there. You I can see. Don't be like Christy. Bring the erase. Bring the chalkboard eraser. Don't use your hands. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. You know how many times I've done this? I've done this doodle with people, and then I realized halfway through that I haven't been able, I didn't think of one thing and I'm stuck running with the camera. So. <laughs> yeah. This is not what I had anticipated. This is not what was in my mind. That's okay. That's all right. It's 
Christy, it's beautiful. You're doing a lot of erasing. You know, it's funny when my um, when my daughter, when Haley was was little, I remember in kindergarten, she had a sculpture she was working on in kindergarten class. And she had this beautiful sculpture that she had made. And she was unhappy with it for some reason I cannot understand. And she just took the clay and she smashed it with her hand. And my heart just sank because she was feeling all that pressure at that time to create something perfect. And um, there's really no need for that, you know? Um, to me, I look at, you know, what a parachute would be. Let's see, I'm, I'm, to make you feel better, I'm gonna do one too. No, um, here, I have, a, I have a different, you know what? So you have taught me that art can be anything you'd like it to be. Yes. So the way I envision us being up in the sky is we are just one tiny, tiny bit. So there's this big, beautiful blue sky. Yeah. And we are this big. <laughs> I love it. So there's going to be this big, beautiful blue sky. And this little tiny parachute, perhaps. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. This might be plan B. <laughs> Uh, plan B is okay. I had a girl in my class just a, like an hour ago and she was getting all stressed out because we were making a clay sculpture and she was just stressing out. See, I'm, I'm not very, I'm going to do like a semicircle and kind of have it flare out at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw a line and another line. So we just break it down by shapes. And then let's see, we'll draw a person. And draw arms up to there. And there's my non-artist version of <laughs> Better, and I have to tell you, and now my child is here to mock me. Look at mommy's parachute, you can love. Not very good, huh? Yeah. Shush. <laughs> I was just mocked by perhaps one of your future students. Um, <laughs> it's not very good. He can't see my parachute. I see it in my imagination. Um, yes. We have a bunch of students actually from Cromwell right now um, that Actually, that, that was the group I just had on, was a Cromwell group from Parks and Rec. So um, I'm sure that they're probably watching you right now, too. You were just they out know. handing out masks with them. <laughs> they are wonderful kids, and they know that perhaps my pursuits should be better spent in places. Um, I will leave art to you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Christy. Um, I think, I think that um, you're exhibiting some of your high school anxiety, <laughs> and that's okay. I am enjoying it. Yes, as I think art should be fun, and I don't think you should feel at all inadequate about what you created because everybody has an artist within them. Um, whether this doesn't come out today. No. Yes, it has. <laughs> it absolutely has. You know, Picasso was ridiculed in his day for creating abstract art. Um, you made a representation of yourself being small in a great big world, which I think is absolutely dead on. And, um, you know, no, we are not all Picasso. We are not all Da Vinci. I am none of those things. But what we are is we are, um, we have our own unique abilities to express ourselves. And um, you've definitely shown us that today. And knowing that art has created anxiety for you in the past, I, I appreciate it even more. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. And I, I'm gonna give a message to your students and your yes, future students. So 
please know that art is fun, that art is not all rules in straight line, and art is everywhere. So take the chance. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look like everybody else's. It's okay. That's, that's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So Christy, any last, other than that, anything else you wanted to add before we say goodbye? I'm gonna let you go before you share any more high school secrets. So I think we're good, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, 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 we're good, no secrets. No secrets, Christy. Um, <laughs> I wanted to thank everybody for doing this with us and for playing with us today. Um, Thank you so much and stay creative and we'll see what we have in store next week. Have fun.